It's been said that collectors are born, not made. Uh, in other words, you either have the collecting bug or you don't. The contemporary term for beer memorabilia is Breweriana. Like many collectors, I just start picking up anything that I found. After you've been collecting for a while, you realize that what you want to gear for is the rarity, the beauty, and the condition of the pieces that you're collecting. To me, it's important to have as many breweries represented as I can. For some of the older breweries, you're lucky if you can get a bottle. We divide collecting Breweriana up into eras. You have pre-prohibition, where advertising really came into being. In the late 1800s and early 1900s, there were a lot of brewery advertising with children in it. Children drinking beer, celebrating beer, holding their steins of beer. And then the prohibition period, where most of the breweries went into soda production and other things. Right after Prohibition, there was kind of an explosion of advertising, it's much better graphics, and a lot of competition among the breweries trying to get their market share back. When you're in the 40s, you start to get into World War II propaganda, very patriotic themes. There's a, a very famous uh, Adam Scheidt tray that there's two versions of. One, it's Washington and his troops raising the flag, and the flag is on the flagpole. The other one, there's no flag. Well, the story goes that in right in the early 40s, that people protested setting a beer on the American flag, so they changed the tray. So when it comes to collecting newer items, I focus on uh, Philadelphia breweries primarily. By collecting today's craft breweries, we're preserving a piece of them for the future.